What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are going to be showcasing the secrets of the new Wrath of the Machine raid added into Destiny with the Rise of Iron expansion. Now last night I uploaded Wrath of the Machine for Dummies, a complete guide of all of the different raid encounters and mechanics, and I would highly recommend that you guys watch that video if you actually want to know how to beat the Wrath of the Machine. But as I said, that is a baseline guide video showcasing how to actually beat the raid. And although in that video I did show some chest locations and some SIVA locations, I didn't show all of them. Now that's where this video comes into play because we're going to be showcasing all of the different chest locations and all of the different SIVA cluster locations. And at the end of the video showcase all of the monitor locations for the biggest raid secret still yet undiscovered. That's some exciting stuff guys, hope you stay tuned for that. But first, we're gonna go over all of the different chest locations in the Wrath of the Machine. Importantly, all of these chests for the first time ever are exotic chests. I've had reports and seen people myself get exotics from all of these upcoming chests, so that's pretty exciting. Usually we just get one exotic chest, but now we have four. Now the first chest location is basically a freebie. It's going to be upon just entering the raid after you beat that opening encounter to your left, like it's right in your path, very easy to get. Moving further into the raid, you're going to encounter a jumping puzzle and another exotic chest. Head where you see me go in the background gameplay and look for the tank with the tilted turret. You're actually going to have to jump onto this turret, which is pretty difficult, jump up to the tank itself, and then upon doing so, you can jump onto this large red pipe and continue in this secret hallway. You can also, you don't have to jump on the tank, you can just stay very close to the roof of this jumping puzzle area and if you just stick high enough you can also just happen across this open hallway. Head through here and you're going to see a small room, you kind of maneuver your way around it, see these massive hanging objects, jump on one and then jump into the other door that you can see in the far corner and you will find an exotic chest. Moving on, after you beat Vasic in your first boss encounter, you're going to be presented with yet another jumping puzzle, and in this jumping puzzle is yet another exotic chest. This one is extremely easy to find. On your way through this corridor, simply look to the right, there'll be an offshoot of some metal sheets. Simply jump on here and continue through the hallways until you find this open room. Now, in this open room, jump on top of these small pipes, turn to the left, and continue jumping onto the scaffolding above. This leads into another room with four large cylindrical pillars and you will find nestled in between two of these pillars an exotic chest. Moving on, the next exotic chest is also located within this jumping puzzle. Head to the very end when you're just about to enter the room to properly continue on with the raid. And then turn around, turn 180 degrees and you can see a place where you can jump up in the rafters near the ceiling. Head along this massive metal beam and to the left you will find another exotic chest. Moving on, the last exotic chest is right after you defeat the siege tank and drop down to the small rocky platform. Before entering the next area, you can actually climb the rocks of this cliff and work your way up to where you can jump into one of the giant broken pipes. Jump in here and there's another exotic chest. In the next section of this video, we're going to cover the SIVA clusters. 
The first one is going to be connected to that very first jumping puzzle. Upon getting to the very end, where you would normally enter into the hallway you've just discovered and continue on with the raid, you instead turn to the right and continue along this corridor. Head through to the very back top left hand corner and there is your first SIVA cluster. Moving on, in the second jumping puzzle after your first boss encounter, there is another SIVA cluster. Traverse through this jumping puzzle exactly as normal until you come to the spot as you can see me here. Then jump up above into this massive, I guess, radiator or some sort of vent and on top of it is hidden another SIVA cluster. Moving on with the SIVA clusters, another one is located on the rocky platform that you jump down to after completing the siege engine encounter. On this rocky platform, simply head to the right side, drop down onto a ledge before falling off, and there is a cave with another SIVA cluster. And moving on, the last SIVA cluster is located at the very entrance to the server room. Hop down and you can see kind of an edge sticking out, which is the start of a very small jumping puzzle. Head to this diagonal edge, you can actually stand on it and try to jump to the two other edges and make your way to the SIVA cluster to which you can see here. It's a little bit difficult, expect some deaths. Now, that should cover the exotic chest locations and SIVA clusters in the Wrath of the Machine raid. However, there's something else. The last section of this video will cover a big raid secret. That again, at the time I'm recording this video, no one has yet found the final piece. Perhaps it may be you, but I'm going to give you the latest information available within the Destiny community. Essentially, there are actually hidden monitors to which you can also discover. Now, in the very final boss encounter after defeating Axis Archon Prime, there is a secret room that will open. Head to the back of the platform to which this entire encounter took place. And you can actually jump off the edge, but there is a new ledge that has opened up after you defeat the boss. Head down here into the secret room and you will see a monitor that you can actually activate. And a hallway leading to a final chest. But as you can see, this hallway is blocked with laser barriers. Only one laser barrier remains for our raid group, but there's actually five. If you were to do none of the monitors, there would be five laser barriers representing the five monitors that you have to activate. We currently know where four are, and here's where they are, and they're extremely well hidden. The first one is located in the first boss fight encounter. Head to the front left room and there's actually a fan. Jump up above this fan and there is a secret pipe. Head through this pipe and you will find the first monitor you can activate. Moving on, the second monitor is located in the room that you pass through to get to one of the secret chests. Before going on towards that secret chest through the hallway, you can actually just turn around, jump on the scaffolding, as you can see here, jump on the iron girders, and then you can ascend even further to another secret room with another monitor. Moving on, the next monitor is located just after the siege engine falls off the edge. You can see a very small kind of SIVA triangle sticking out of the wall. If you shoot this triangle, part of the wall will blow open and you can jump down to this exposed area, head inside to yet another secret room and find yet another monitor.
that is three of the monitors and the last one is as you saw located in the final secret room after beating the final boss. And again, at the time I'm recording this video, no one yet knows where that fourth monitor is. There's a lot of theories involving the server room, because there's actually two monitors that look exactly the same as the ones I just went over in the server room located on two opposite ends, but you can't go and activate them. There's a lot of speculations about going through the server room in the right method, um, going through a certain pathway, perhaps not aggroing enemies, that's actually my theory, and going on to another room that might open up because once you kill all the enemies it turns on the lights like there is just massive fan theories involving that room it may not even be there it may be somewhere completely different again that's the best we have in terms of the knowledge within the destiny community and this video is mainly just to showcase the chest locations and siva clusters but i thought you know why not also showcase all of the monitor locations discovered so far and that final hidden chest that no one has yet figured out how to open so that hopefully you guys can be the ones to finally crack that code and destroy that last laser barrier and open that chest for the first time. Now guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you want to see more Destiny content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.